said a single thing of any importance while we were not here, waiting for the photographers to get out. As a matter of fact, we talked about the weather. Association is a volunteer association of booksellers all over America 
We represent uh, several thousand booksellers and millions of readers. Uh, we think that the book has no equal really importance. Uh, how would we know history? How could we agonize with you past president and president, president uh, if we didn't have those books to read? Uh, and we discovered, uh, we've, got, we've got a little gift for you that we think will bring back a lot of really good memories. Uh, we think that uh, you have enjoyed uh, Ships by Sea at Night and Great Adventures, but we read that your favorite childhood book was a book called Northern Trails by someone yes. named Long. Is that right? Yes. I read it several times. It planted the love of nature in me. Great. In fact, I used to try to practice the howl of the great white wolf. <laughs> great. Well, we, you can do it again. <laughs> when, we, when we found out that this was your favorite childhood book, uh, Bernie Rathian, who is our executive director, started a search around the United States because the book was published in 1905. It's been long out of print. And we found this book at the Yankee Peddler Bookshop. And Bernie, if I'm wrong about pronouncing this, but it looks like Colnetville, Colnetville. What are you New, York, New Yorkers? Is that the way you pronounce that? Colnetville, New York. Mr. and Mrs. Westerberg ran the bookstore. And uh, I can't tell you how much we paid for this out of print book, but it cost us 15 times the amount we paid to get this nice leather band. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I bet that will bring back some great oh, memories. Yes. <laughs> Now, that's Southern South Carolina writing there, but I hope yes. you can read that. Uh, yes, I can, and I thank you very much. Oh, we, That's for your personal <laughs> library. You have just started me down memory trail. Okay. <laughs> now, we have another book that uh, I'm going to ask Bernie Rathian to help me present to you. Uh, have you got a large night table? <laughs> well, you're going to need a large one because this is the kind of book you want to set on your night table. The American Booksellers Association is distributing this book, and uh, Bernie, tell him about it while I hold it. Okay. Um, it was originally a European publication based on newspaper stories, uh, beginning with uh, one day, uh, one page per month per year since the beginning of the century. Uh, the American edition is using the New York Times database, and it's edited by Clifton Daniel. And while this is a French edition, because it was originally published in Europe. The American edition will be coming out in, in September and be available in the bookstores in September. And we'd like you to have this for now, and that when the American edition comes, we'd be happy to send it along. Well, thank you. And it's much. got a real nice couple right there, right on the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Take that yeah. familiar. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> now, hand me that, uh, those other two things right quick, Bernie. This, by the way, just let me show you the format of this book. If you want to know what happened on your birthday, you were born in 1931. I remember that. <laughs> you, know, right here, you, see, you see all the important events that took place that day. And the database in this book will be the New York Times, so it will be uh, centered worldwide, but with a lot of American things. And if you can read French, you can read this one until you get the New York <laughs> Right. Now, right. This is a list of the books that we will be sending to the White House Library. This is a collection of what we think are the best things that have been published in the last four or five years. And they will be delivered very shortly. And uh, I couldn't resist uh, bringing one of these along. This is published by a South Carolina and North Carolina publisher. They discovered in the uh, crawl space underneath a, a black tenant house uh, the original plates of a famous black photographer, and he took these pictures of middle class blacks in Columbia, South Carolina, mm -hmm. in the 1920s and 30s, and we want you to have this for your personal life. Well, put the thank you very much. Very interesting. <laughs> well, I came in here only to thank you all for what you were doing for the White House. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm, I'm being treated very well. The, uh, I know, of course, this all started back in 1930 with President Hoover and 500 books. And uh, in the 57 years since, it's been 3,600 books from all of you. I know that one among you is a winner of a very great uh, recognition and award, uh, Mr. Winkle. Mark Winkle, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> so that may not have behind those you. whiskers over there. Appreciate it. Well, on behalf of the White House and presidents to come, I thank you very much for all of that, but I also thank you very much for what you've done for me personally. We thank you for what you've done for the book, sir. And uh, 
as I said before, we don't think the book has an equal, and we appreciate the fact that you also think it's important. I, uh, I'll have a little problem with that French. While I had, <laughs> I had a couple of years of French in school very early, and then in 1949, I entered France for the first time in my life and found myself driving with a married couple, some friends from England, down across France to the Mediterranean and discovered then they didn't know a word of French. <laughs> and we were coming to a town where we were going to have lunch, and the question came up was, how do we find the best place to eat? And I hadn't for a great many years harked back to my school days to any memory, but pretty soon as I began racking my mind, I began, then I got interested in padding my parts, so that by the time we got into the little town, there was a gendarme, and I said, pull up, and I rolled down the window, and I said, pardon, monsieur, j'ai grand, grand fait, où est my uh, café? <laughs> I told him I was very hungry, and where was the best café? And he told me, and my friend who was driving said, what did he say? And I said, I have the slightest. <laughs> 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 yes, I think now, I'm going to have a chance to meet each of you individually, and we'll have a picture today. Don't worry about it. see you. I think we ought to be looking that way when we. <laughs> All right, nice to see you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Hello, Mr. President. I'm fine, sir. Why do we, I know we only have a minute or two, but why don't we? Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. If we only have one minute, Mr. President, I have one question. Yes. How does it look like to be as the President of the United States of the Alliance? <laughs> well, there are one still I don't know that I'm you are, but I must tell you that uh, I do both from the inside and the outside. I think uh, the Americans find the French presidential politics as fascinating as our own and almost as hard to understand. I think you are. But uh, no, it's, uh, I must say this is. Uh, I have found a very rewarding experience. I just made a lot of speeches when I didn't think I'd ever be doing anything like this. And I'm talking about the problems of our country and the government, but now to be able to do it. Thank you. Very well. Yeah. Do you think we'll go further away than the first negotiation? Go further away than the first negotiation of the government? Oh. Your Listen, hope to I'm, I'm for a second step? To, I am determined to uh, go forward with that. I hope that uh, Mr. Gorbachev is not just uh, going for propaganda or anything. I'm a believer that the world would be better off if we could eliminate all of them. You think this is not only propaganda? What? You think this is not only propaganda? No, I think, I think he's really got some reasons why it's important to him that he would like it. I think his economic situation is one that has been aggravated by their great military buildup, mm -hmm. and uh, so I don't, I don't think it's a case of someone uh, having a change of heart or anything. I think he's an avowed believer in their system, but I think he recognizes that um, that it would be to his advantage and the things he wants to do internally there, also if mm -hmm. he could bring about a reduction or anything else. Mm -hmm. And we mentioned the first negotiation is one. Will be signed? Uh, we're going to try. <laughs> but I tell you, I won't do what others have done in the past. I will not just sign an agreement to get an agreement. Uh -huh. It has to be a workable, good one, and fair to both sides. Thank you, Mr. President. We, we are all. You know, I would like to vote for the American presidential election. <laughs> we are concerned that we are citizens of this event. <laughs> well, <laughs> Well, thank you. It is good to see you. Thank you very much. And good luck. We need it. <laughs> All right. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll see you a little later. Yep. Thank you, sir. Thanks. <coughs> <coughs> All right.
Tom Turnage of the Beach. Yes, nice to see you. May I introduce the commander of the Mount Mitchell Association for Progress Service. Nice to see you. See you. This is Mr. Chuck Jackson, his assistant. Hi, how are you, sir? My pleasure. John Adams is a great person. And my pleasure. And Mr. President, let me introduce Joan uh, Lamb, who is the executive officer of the VA. Pleasure. Nice to see you. Oh, well. 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 Pleased to have you here. We certainly appreciate you taking the time to have us uh, in for this afternoon. We know how busy you've been. Well, I think maybe I better get in here something. Sure. <laughs> sure. sure. I'm surprised you're in the middle, Mr. President. <laughs> I don't know a bunch of veterans in that place with me, sir. Always in the middle, right? Thank you. No. <laughs> sir, I might suggest to you that these people are very big supporters of yours and your policies. Well, We've done a tremendous yes, job for us. I know that, and I'm going to thank you very much because I know the support you've given, and believe me, we've never needed it more than we need it right now. The, the bills that are going through up there now and tying into the budget are bills that would handcuff us and tie us. As a matter of fact, it would win the, win the negotiations with the Soviet Union. Yes, sir. Anything we can do to support those policies, you can count on that. Because right. uh, they've been cutting the legs right out from under the in the appropriation bill, yes. SBI. You don't mind? Well, are you a first lady? Well, thank you very much. If you ever have a chance to get out west again and put your good britches on and uh, well, give yourself yeah. to hold them up. Well, thank you very much. Well, listen, I have some little souvenirs for, for you just for your visit here. Key rings with the seal. Oh, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Well, it's our pleasure for you to leave us. Thanks, sir. Thank you. And I love you. If you lean on the Congress. <laughs> you got it. You, you got it, sir. <laughs> we got quite an absentee program, too, so uh, uh, I bet we're going to work on it. Good. Mr. President, Walt Kruger was the number one non commissioned officer in Europe working with Joe Otis there for some years, and I thought you'd like to know that. Yes. Sir, thank you for your time. Good to see you. Well, thank you, you all the way, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Good to see you, sir. Bob Whitaker, Deputy yeah. Chief here at yeah. the yeah. White House. Nice yeah. to see you. Yeah. I'd like to introduce the Chief of Metropolitan Police and Marines General. Hi, Mr. President. Yeah. Pleased to meet you. I've got with me Assistant Chief Profiter from the Metropolitan Police and Marines General. Nice to see you. George Wilson, a retired member of the Metropolitan Police and and Captain Keller. Mr. President, nice to see you. Mr. President, we just want to take time out to thank you for your leadership that you do in this country, and especially for the leadership that you've given us here in the city. And this is the 125th anniversary of the Metropolitan Police Department. And we just wanted to present to you a few tokens of our thanks for your leadership. This is a baton that's a token of our 125th anniversary. I can use this one. <laughs> with, with pleasure, and you have immunity. <laughs> and also, Mr. President, a badge, our 125th anniversary badge, and it's inscribed on the back. Well, thank you. So, I'm a great collector of them, but I, I have enough that I. Well, this is just wonderful. I thank you very much. And incidentally, while the thanks are being spoken here, I want to thank you all, too, for all your continued support. Every time I move out of here, I know I upset your, your schedule, and, and I, I'm most grateful. I know all our fellows are. We owe that to the number one person in this country. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Used to be able to spin it. I saw a couple of those westerns. <laughs> Thank you so very much. I can't spin it anymore. I got a big spinning hand. Spinning hand. Well, all right. These are just. These can't match. And they get you, Katie, a bit with the. You know, just sort of these are key rings with the. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Got one for their photographer. Oh, yes. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you all very much. Thank you, sir, very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. 
important than the questions. I remember one where I worked very hard. You know, in the old days, two hundred pictures are taken. In the old days, you could not show the man shooting and the man shot in the same same movie shot. You know, they had to be on the man shooting and then cut to the other man, or be on him and see him then cut back with the man with the smoking gun. I worked and worked people that brought that poster out and boom. <laughs> and then we saw the film. They had cut the him first, and when they got back me, I'm just holding a smoking gun. <laughs> Nobody saw me spin the gun. <laughs> Mr. President, you're running late, but we need to do one group photo before you play go. Thank you.